Hi everyone, today we are doing lesson 9.3 and this is all about how to post from the purchases journal. So our objective for today is to post merchandise purchases to an accounts payable ledger and a general ledger. So previously in chapters one through eight, we would just go through the general journal um, and line through line, we would post to the general ledger. Now we are moving to subsidiary ledgers so that we have separate ledgers for accounts payable and accounts receivable. And then we also have our general ledger. Um, and so the first step in posting from the general journal is to first post to the accounts payable ledger. So accounts payables are all going to be, uh, from the purchases journal, are, are all going to be credited. So we would put the date, which is the six, the journal page. So P11, purchases journal page 11. Then all accounts payables here, when lighting, accounts payable when lighting is a credit. So we're crediting that amount. Credit and a credit means we add. So then we update the new credit balance. And then we put the vendor number 260 back up at the top. So that's posting from the purchases journal to the accounts payable ledger. However, we also have to um, post our um, purchases total and accounts payable total. So one of the benefits of posting from the accounts, um, from the purchases journal is that we have all of these transactions that all go to purchases. So instead of posting them each individually, what we can do is at the end of the month, we can add them up and post one time. Um, and so all we need to do is at the end of, um, sorry, at the end of the month, put the last day of the month, the word total, rule the single line, put the total amount, uh, and then double rule. And then we would post this total to purchases and then this total to accounts payable, which is here. So you can see purchases on the 30th from page purchase journal P11. So P11, we have five, um, there we go. We have $21,587.17. Okay, that's posted um, to purchases and then also to accounts payable. But for purchases, it's a debit. Accounts payable, is a, it's a credit. And then we just update our balances just like we would previously. And then the only big difference here is that the um, in parentheses, we put the account numbers under the total. So we just posted to purchases, the 5,110 goes in parentheses, and then 2,110 goes for accounts payable.